but for sure we're spiritual beings, spiritual beings with a body. We're spiritual beings with a body. So that's why there are principles, say, that govern our behavior, spiritual principles. You can't just be an animal, eat, drink, and be merry, and smoke marijuana, and be selfish, see, and think about nothing but uh, partying and eating and retirement. And see, we all know there's something more to life. It's because we have a soul. So what happened? Well, the human race has a history. Okay, there's a history to the human race. It began in the Garden of Eden, which I can see that the Garden of Eden story is true because I see it replayed all around me. Man and woman come together. She's his Eve. She's his Eve. Okay, he's her Adam. She tempts him. Okay, and he he falls. Now, to get married, most women have to be a little bit of a temptress to catch a man. If she was very prim and very proper, very dignified and noble, why she would scare him off, he would feel uh, embarrassed and intimidated. See, So she has to be a little bit of a temptress in order to uh, entice a man. Just like when you're fishing, you know, you have, you put some, something on the hook and then you have to move it around a little bit in order to entice the fish to come and and bite, you see. So then she catches a man and she sees that he has uh, some faults, but she hopes that when they're married, um, he can overcome them. And, or she figures that she, she can whip him into shape. Okay. Now men um, um, get married also for the wrong reasons. Usually he falls in lust. See. And she supports his ego. She's real good at supports. There's something about her that supports his ego. Just to add like his mother supported his ego. Okay. Comforted him when he when he went out in the world and failed. And see. Well, now he marries her because she she excites his ego, excites his animal, excites his animal and comforts his ego. And she puts her blessing, her imprimatur on his animal nature. See, our, your, our animal nature is actually is, came into, into being out of a failing. Humans, I think, were originally meant to be, uh, uh, to uh, live forever and probably not to have to eat and probably were non-sexual beings originally. Okay, but what happened? Well, Adam fell. He failed. The animal grew up to compensate. See, and then he changed, didn't he? Adam changed. If you read the beautiful, in the, the uh, lost books of the Bible, they tell the, uh, the story of the Garden of Eden, the, the full version. See, what we get in the Bible is an adumbration, a shortened version of it. You, you, you really, if you want to read the whole story, you get the lost books of the Bible. And then you can see, he lived a long time, what, 900 years? And he changed, changed during those 900 years, and then he died. Okay, so the sexuality, see, reproduction, the, 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 the idea that instead of being able to live forever, see, somehow through um, the tree of life and uh, being close to God, living forever, okay, on this earth, in the body, part spiritual and part part uh, spiritual and part earth, earth, part material, living in the body on this earth forever. But when Adam fe fe fell, then he could no longer um, be be live forever. Now he had to procreate so that when he died, his offspring would continue, see. So in a way, he can still live forever, but through his offspring, see. So the reproduction is a compensation. Okay, so that's why whenever you fail, then you feel more um, sensuous. Okay, you go to a naughty party with naughty people around or a naughty staff meeting somewhere, and then what? Then you feel more um, sensuous, don't you? See, so we become more animal when we f when we fail. See, Either then we then we want to 
then we start thinking about sex or we start thinking about food or alcohol or whatever see so we failed and we eat okay so Adam failed instead of being instead of being noble honorable doing the right thing obeying his father and, and not doubting he doubted God see and he listened to his wife instead and her words were coached by the serpent he reached for the forbidden thing he was tempted and he reached he failed see he could have said put let's put the apple down let's not eat the apple father says we're not supposed to eat the apple he could have said that but he didn't instead he went for it went for the temptation because he wanted to be what he was ambitious so he didn't love God didn't love his wife he loved himself he imagined himself being a big uh, big man of some sort successful powerful see so he was tempted and he fell and um, so there you have that so ever since then men have been fail failures well okay so then how about the ladies well the ladies her problem what's the ladies problem often judgment judgment and resentment but let's let's focus on judgment she can't help but judge failing men her father failed her wasn't there for her she went out into the world looking for love instead of finding love she found use and abuse see so she resents men see he's not God-centered he's woman-centered his mother his wife other women other womenly men or substitute temptations like work money alcohol see gambling they're all substitute temptations the main temptation in his life you see what is is the woman to whom he falls instead of being the noble man taking his wife's hands and leading her to paradise instead he looks to her see he should look to God he should be on his knees before God but then stand tall in the world and be noble, long-suffering, patient, kind, courageous, principled, honorable. All those beautiful virtues he would have. And she would respect him for that. See, she would respect him. But instead he, f he looks to her to support his ego. And then he becomes dependent on her support. 